Jim Saunas here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, breaking down the players who saw their stock rise across week eight in NFL DFS. And we start things off on a bummer note with news that Derrick Henry may miss the rest of the season for the Tennessee Titans, which boosts Jeremy McNichols stock in this offense. McNichols already has 11% of the Titans targets through their first eight games. That means we can say with a good amount of certainty, he will be the passing game back for this offense and passing game matters a lot even on a half PPR site like FanDuel. McNichols weighs 214 pounds, so it's not as if he can't get early down work. He just hasn't because Henry has been there. Now, the Titans very likely to bring somebody in before Tuesday's trade deadline, so this is still a status that is up in the air, but for right now, McNichols should be the passing game back with the potential for a lot more. So as of right now, McNichols is the guy to target in the Tennessee backfield despite an unfortunate situation. The number two stock up guy was for a much cheerier reason. That was with Michael Carter getting the feature back role for the New York Jets playing 70% of the team's snaps. That was with Ty Johnson being fully healthy for this entire game. The Jets just decided they were going to make Michael Carter the guy in this backfield. 15 carries and 14 targets. 14 targets, not something you expect going forward, but it does show they trust him in the passing game, and that does matter a lot. The Jets are still going to be a bad offense, but you can erase that by getting a lot of work in the passing game. We saw Carter get that in addition to his work as an early down rusher. So Michael Carter is now the featured back. Still has limitations because the offense is going to likely continue to struggle, but it does boost him into being DFS relevant because that workload, specifically in the passing game, appears to be so good. Finally, Devontae Parker made his return for the Miami Dolphins in week number eight and came back to a really nice role. Jalen Waddell did lead with 12 targets, but it was Devontae Parker who produced. He had 11 targets, converted them into 85 yards, could have had one more, but had uh, a key drop there for the Dolphins late in that ball game, but still 85 yards for Parker, a good return to this team. When Parker's been healthy, he has been the lead target getter on this team, specifically on those high leverage targets downfield. The Dolphins' schedule opens up a lot going forward. They get Houston this upcoming week. Parker is going to get a lot of work still in the low 6,000 range on FanDuel for week number nine. So Devontae Parker, a key target for the Dolphins going forward in NFL DFS. That's going to wrap things up here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up, but don't go anywhere. Coming up later on this week, we're going to get you set for week number, number nine across season long and DFS. So stay tuned here to the FanDuel Hurry Up.